Journalism watchdog Pointer now forced to scrap their list of unreliable news sources because, as it turns out, the list wasn't reliable. Backlash grew as several conservative websites were mistakenly targeted, and Pointer took down the list, replacing it with an apology. Our next guest is a writer for one of the conservative websites targeted, Kelsey Bolar, senior writer and producer at the Daily Signal and the Heritage Foundation. Hey, Kelsey, how are you doing today? Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm looking at this list, and I see Life News, Free Beacon, Drudge Report, Daily Caller, Red State. I mean, there's a lot of conservative websites on here. What do you make of it? Yeah, well, very conveniently, most conservative news sites were grouped in and labeled uh, by Pointer as unreliable or fake news, which is a pretty serious smear coming from uh, what's supposed to be a nonprofit journalism institute. And conveniently, many of the far left news sites were left out of that. Think Progress, for example, which is run out of the, the Center for American Progress and the Intercept. So, very clearly, conservative news sites were targeted and most alarmingly, they were targeted to be blacklisted by advertisers. So what this Journalism Institute is really supporting here is, is choking out conservative news sites uh, from, from the public uh, through boycotts and bans via advertisers. That is not something anyone who supports journalism mm -hmm. uh, should ever be behind. You know, my question upon looking at this was who defines what's unreliable? And it turns out that they may Made this index by combining five lists and when you look into it it says that quote it was curated by established journalists or academics and I'm wondering well most journalists are liberal most academics are liberal is that part of the problem with where this bias came from it's absolutely part of the problem. Sadly, what happened here is very reflective of the state of the mainstream media right now. We have come to learn that the person responsible uh, for making this list previously was associated with uh, the SPLC, which has a history of targeting conservative news sites. Um, and, and in making this list, they also didn't even reach out to any of the news organizations mm -hmm. that they targeted, including the Daily Signal, which is really a violation of Journalism 101. You reach out to the subjects who you are reporting on. Uh, Kelsey, we have an excerpt from the original pointer index that called for the blacklisting. Quote, advertisers don't want to support publishers that might tar their brand with hate speech, falsehoods, or some kind of political messaging. But too often, they have little choice in the matter. We hope that the unnews index will be useful for advertisers that want to stop funding misinformation. You have a response to that? Again, it is very dangerous for a nonprofit, supposedly unbiased uh, journalism institution to be calling for advertisers to boycott conservative news sites. And this is very symbolic of what's happening on the left, on college campuses, mm -hmm. all over, where instead of winning the battle with conservatives via ideas and debates, they just want to uh, ban us from, ban our ideas yep. from even being heard, shout us down. This is another example of it. I think it's very unfortunate. We appreciate them pulling down that list, yep. uh, but it's possible that they come up with another uh, and continue targeting conservative news sites. Yeah, we did reach out to Pointer and they did respond to Fox and Friends. They said the Pointer Institute believes in a free and responsible press and we hold ourselves to high standards. We messed up and we're owning it and we're taking steps to make sure something doesn't like this, like this doesn't happen again. So I think that is an important step that at least they're willing to acknowledge it. To me, this is unfortunately a reflection that there is a homogeneity of thought in academia and in journalism oftentimes and it's just what's been flagged is what is dissent what is it di offering a different perception of telling that news so Kelsey I really appreciate you being here thank you so much for your input and glad to see their apology at least it is one small step in the right direction thank you thanks so much